guys. Happy weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay, I'm going to do it a little bit different this time. I want to just wing it, for a lack of a better way to put it, and just see what the cards have to say, what's coming up for each of the signs for this weekend. Okay? Um, let's just try it that way. I just feel like we all just need a, a little reprieve. So let's just see what we've got here. Okay? All right, Aries. Okay. All right, Aries, we have the Six of Cups. All right, I think life is good right now. Um, I think that this is... Um, ideas, visions, happiness, kind of getting lost in the moment, which is great. This is exactly what I was hoping to achieve with this. Um, life is really good right now. Don't borrow trouble. Just be in the moment. Be present with the people that you're present with. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just really just enjoy the weekend. Okay? Okay. Now we've got the judgment card. Again, things are good. Um, expansion. Gifts. Uh, raises. This can be <laughs> this can be children, gifts, engagement, marriage, finding something in a store at a price that you're just amazed at, um, something that you've wanted, a treat for yourself. I think that something that you've worked for is going to present itself. Be it in something you find, a great bottle of wine, it can be anything. I think there's a gift in here. There's luck in here. Um, if you want to try your hand at a scratch-off lotto ticket or a lotto ticket or, you know, if you think, oh, I'm just going to go and see if they have this, chances are that they'll have that or they'll have something even better. So I would, this is, this is a great card. If something's not been going well, I think it turns around for you here. I think in this was maybe a lesson that you needed to learn or that someone else needed to learn. But either way, I think that if there's been any blockages, I think you're pleasantly surprised at how something goes. Okay, we've got the Nine of Coins. Okay, again, uh, a gift coming in. Um, maybe your tax return comes in. Maybe you get a bonus. Maybe someone gives you a card with some money in it. Maybe anything. Again, I feel this is a very luck weekend for you. And by that I mean you're going to reap what you've put into something. I think it's the universe's way of paying you back right now. Um, you've got a lesson here, meaning you've gotten the lesson in something, whatever that is, right? Maybe to just take life a little bit slower, to enjoy the little things, to have some peace in your life. Okay, this is a great card though. It's a card of stability too on all fronts. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords. Again, a very solid card, okay? This is a card, again, of, of learned things and knowing how to do things and, and knowing the easy way to do things, easier way to do things, to avoid things um, that are nonsense, right, that you just don't need to put your effort into. Again, I feel it's a very dreamy kind of... Uh, you know, getting lost in your thoughts, and it's just, it feels just like a, the breeze of a warm summer day, so I would enjoy this weekend, okay? All right, Aries, I hope that you enjoy that. Hi, Taurus. Happy weekend. Let's see what the cards want to say to you. Again, guys, I feel this is a very, very, I know we've got the moon, and I think it's going to be a very, um, just enjoy it. Just get just get lost in it, honestly. Just have, have a nice downtime for yourself. Something enjoyable. Okay. okay. We've got the Six of Swords. Okay. I think, again, that's what I was saying. I think this is a very... Um, what do I say? A very... Just getting lost in your thoughts. Um, you know, you may find something um, 
This could be someone says something nice to you. Someone gives you a nice gift. You cut yourself some slack. You say, hey, you know what? I really do serve this. I'm going to treat myself. Um, I don't see anything negative about that card. Again, I think it's a card of joy, happiness, um, just really uh, emotional fulfillment. Again, there's something going through these readings of just, you know, like a good ice cream or a good gelato or just enjoying the the luxuriousness the in whatever that is that can be in anything um it doesn't need to be big and exotic but it's just really enjoying something just for the sake of enjoying it that's what i think this is okay ten of wands okay so maybe not work maybe take some time off take a day off take an easy weekend take yourself off the clock don't do a to-do list don't follow a clock just Get in the car, go find a flea market, go find a tag sale, go find, you know, something that you want to do. This is a card of um, needing some downtime. You've put time in here. Take a day to yourself. Okay, here's my point. Take, take a time out. Take, you've been working too hard, I feel. Take some time to yourself. Enjoy something. Um some this card actually does speak to of needing more joy needing more do something happy in your life cut yourself some slack okay okay two of swords that's a card of yeah you know what i do need a day off i do need some time to myself you know what i am going to go to that sale i am going to learn something i'm going to take that new class i'm going to you know Go read a book somewhere. That's the, you know what? Yeah, I'm really going to do it. Okay? I think that's great. I think you need a little bit of downtime, and the cards feel it too. I wouldn't worry about the devil card. That card with the ten of wands just says, yes, you need some downtime here for sure. And you need to um, to spend some time um, enjoying life. Really about making choices for yourself that are not more balanced just more uh you need more fun in your life there's you know you can work of course we can work but we need to incorporate other things into our life and this reading really just says you need you need you need some downtime something more pleasurable for today okay so i hope that that helps hi gemini happy weekend I hope you are doing well. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. Okay. So, maybe you will get an invitation to something. Um, it may come out of the blue. It may come last minute. I'm going to suggest that you go, okay? Three of Swords. Okay, again, you may have, say, an engagement that you've got to go to something. It sounds to me like this is coming in here to tell you that that's more where your priority should be right now. So maybe you were committed to something that you really didn't want to do, right? So maybe this is an excuse to not have to do this, okay? Okay. Um, I do feel that you might be doing something that you really don't want to do or that you might not, uh, it might not be the best thing for you to do. I would say choose wisely because this is looking like um, you should maybe put yourself on the forefront of whatever this is. I think you're either committed to something or uh, that you're not wanting to do or you need a little bit of time for yourself. Okay, this can absolutely say that, you know what, I need a little bit of time for myself, and you should take it. I would strongly suggest that you take it. This card really speaks, and Taurus just got this too, of needing a little bit of downtime, needing a little bit of joy um, in your life, a break from whatever routine it is that you've been doing. Yep, and there's the magician. Um, go do something for yourself. Um, you have to choose to do this. So whatever this is, 
choose choose for yourself to do something here. This is really just making a choice for yourself and knowing that it's best for you. And you can do it, okay? Don't let someone talk you out of this, all right? You just have to have the desire to do it. So whatever that is, right? Whatever that is for you. Um, but I would just base the decision on, okay, the emperor. Um, I'm throwing an extra card for you guys because I'm going to say here you need to take the reins back. Just put yourself on the forefront. You can't give to others consistently without recharging your own battery in whatever that, that is to you. Okay, so I hope that that helps. Hi, Cancer. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Let's see what the cards have to say. I can already feel here, without even throwing cards yet, that you guys need some time with someone that you care about, or you need to do something um, that you, you need to treat yourself. You need to treat yourself in here. If there's someone else in your life that uh, is working too hard, you know, send them a little text that, you know, I'll meet you here. Here's the address. Here's the time. Don't leave any more details. Just hit the send button and go. Um, that's what I would suggest for some of you. That came through for someone. So it's being spontaneous and not having to think 10 ways to Tuesday. It's just about doing it. And this would be someone that you um, really care about. It could be your sister. It could be a family member. It could be your husband, your wife. Just do something giddy. Yes, I don't know where that word came from, but just do it. All right, let's see here. Okay, yep, there you go. Take a chance. Do something that just takes your breath away. That is needing more excitement in your life, and I think that that is what you need to do, okay? Um, surprise someone. Um, surprise someone. Or someone will surprise you, one of the two. Three of Wands. Yep, that would be a surprise. That is, in here I feel for you, again, it is another surprise. Um, a little weekend getaway. Um, again, surprise is what I'm hearing here. Okay, Eight of Swords. If you're, just do this. If, if, you, if you think, oh my God, but how will it be received? Who cares? Just do it. I'm telling you, you will be greatly surprised at the outcome of this, okay? Um, this, too, is either being at a standstill, staying at a standstill, or it's just taking a chance and, and just doing something, getting it together and going forward, right? If, if you've been at a standstill about something, anything, it doesn't need to involve what I mentioned as the message, but, but if you're at a standstill about something, just get it together and push through it. You can do whatever this is. So you need to, to go for it here. Two of Wands. Yep. Just get the unspa, get it together, and go for it. Right, get get the, the show moving here. There's something that you need to get uh, going, uh, exploring, a weekend getaway. It's something here, or someone may surprise you. If you think, oh my God, I don't know, go for it. I'm telling you, spontaneity is your ticket to freedom or your ticket to ride this weekend. So there you go. Hi, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, Emperor, I think I just got this for cancer. So you need to, oh wow, okay. You need to cut loose here. I think you are, uh, you just need a break. There's a lot of, um, it's funny because I didn't have the same energy, the same flow of ease that I had for um, cancer. You need to maybe just take a little bit of, of time for yourself here. I think you're at odds with something, but I think that that is really because you're running on fumes. Yep. Okay. Again, there's a theme going through here, uh, uh, through the readings, and I'm thrilled, and this is most likely why I chose to do it this way. Um, 
make a if, if you're at odds with someone just call a ceasefire go do something fun um table whatever it is for now and i have a feeling that it'll it'll clear up for you okay mm. yeah i think that just just go with it just 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 call a ceasefire go do something uh change the winds here um, okay yep um, there is if if someone is considering something here uh, let the other person know how you're feeling here I think that there is um, for some of you, you're in relationships that you're just not quite sure if it's love or lust, right? Just be very, you may want to just get clear on that. Um, for some of you, you may just really want a really good friendship and realize that that's it. That may be the, the place where you're at. So maybe just, you know, you don't need to, to, um, to knock something out of the park. Just be clear with the other person on what it is that you're doing. Yeah, okay. This kind of, this is a very phallic card in here. It can really just speak of, you know, uh, you may be at odds with a really uh, tough conversation that you're having. And by tough, I mean you may be at odds about something. Um, I would strongly suggest just tabling it for this weekend. It might lighten the heaviness that I feel around this. These are really strong cards. You've got three arcana, four arcana cards for a weekend throw, that's pretty substantial. So whatever this is, take a deep breath here. Um, that's a pretty powerful card too. Something may have surprised you in some sort of way here, and in all honesty, okay, it's the Seven of Cups. You're needing to make a decision, like I say, I feel that very strongly too. You're needing to make a decision about something. I would, um, I, I just get a feeling like I'm kind of shocked the tower card isn't showing up here, but table the ego, really just look at this from a deeper place, but I would kind of take a lighter approach on this just for now, because this is a very heavy, heavy, intense reading here. Um, these two cards can speak to a, um, a discussion about uh, pregnancy or you you know, something is going on here for sure on the home front. So that's what it's in reference to. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need further clarification, just reach out to me. Um, I can take a quick look at this for you, okay? Hi, Virgo. Happy weekend. Let's see what the cards have to... Whoa. Okay. I hope that that's good. Let's see. Oh my. Okay, that is good. Ten of cups, ten of coins. Okay, that is being content, being happy with the people that you are around. Um, yeah. I really feel I just keep seeing a wheel turning. So I'm going to say here that something um, could surprise you in a good way. Um, that's a great card to have here, I feel. Okay, let's see what it's about. It's uh, it's been a long time coming, whatever it is. So I would just I would ride that. Let's see. Wow, that's great. And the cards were jumping. So okay, six of wands. Okay, that is I feel in here. This could be hmm. I think this will be a surprise. I think someone may present you with a surprise, um, ask you to go somewhere, tell you how they feel. Um, I feel a lot of emotion in here. So I think, oh, geez, another one. Hang on. 
Okay, the Eight of Wands. You may be going somewhere. Someone may surprise you with a trip out of the blue. Um, again, I think a relationship or something may have been at a standstill. Now you're like, holy cow, this just totally turned around. Nine of coins. <laughs> Nine of coins. Okay, this is either, you know, you were bored and now you uh, are going somewhere. You're starting something new. Nines, tens, I mean... Six, eight, nine, ten. This is going to be great. Someone needs to let me know what goes on here. Um, I think, again, someone takes a chance on something. I think it really turns out for um, the better. I think maybe you've been staying home for a bit, thinking about something, and now you're either um, getting together with someone, getting back together with someone, going out with someone, traveling somewhere. you got a surprise invitation somewhere. This is a great... Um, you're communicating with someone, maybe you just met someone, um, you may go somewhere that's off the beaten path, like you weren't supposed to go somewhere and you meet someone. This is a great reading, and these cards were popping out, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of vitality surrounding this. I think it's great. Okay, guys, I'm rooting for you. I think this is wonderful. Hi, Libra. Happy weekend. I hope you have a lovely weekend. You seem to go hand in hand with whatever Virgo is doing. Check out their reading because they had a phenomenal reading and their cards were jumping all over the place. So, let's see here. What do I need to know? Okay, it feels very similar. That's the Two of Cups. That is asking someone out, that's going on a date, that's a new relationship. It's harmony at its core. If you've not been feeling well, you'll start to feel better. That's a great card. That is coming together with an aha, I'm now going to go somewhere, I'm now going to do something. It's great. It's like I have a, I really do have feelings for this person. You know what I mean? It's, it's a great, wow. I think you are tied to whatever Virgo is doing. That's the Wheel of Fortune. I very much felt that um, in their reading, too. And I actually, I think I even said to them, I see the Wheel of Fortune here. It's right here. Something is going to um, turn your way. Something is going to shock you, come out of a, a surprise. Someone may ask you out. A date may go better than you thought. A relationship may turn in a certain way. Um, Wow, I don't even know what to say. That could be anything, but whatever it is, it's positive. Okay, and you've got the Empress. Okay, this could be a relationship, too, where something, um, you know, it could be someone finding out that they're having a baby. You could be um, starting something. Uh, it doesn't need to be a physical child, but it could be. Um, you could be getting married. Whatever it is, it's. It's a great, I mean, it's abundance. There's abundance all over this reading. I think it's great. Hallelujah, Libra. Please embrace this. Please, please, please embrace this. Okay, there you go. Hi, Scorpio. Happy weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. Okay, Nine of Swords. Okay, I think, though, that this is good. I think you're going to have to put something to rest that you've been making yourself a little bit crazy about. Um, let's see here. Just bear with me. I don't think this is a negative. I really don't. If you've not been feeling well, you're going to get a real aha about this, right? Like, this is like I, I no longer... Uh, I'm going to do this. This is like smoking example would be right. And like you, you, you just get the, the scare of your life today. So it's not even like I, I want to quit. It's just like done. I'm done. Or it's, it's you getting something back on track. The nines are a stark realization about something. Um, bear with me one minute. I think it's a healing cycle, right? Um, a development here. 
Um, you're letting go of something to embrace something else. I don't feel this is negative. This is attachment to something that is not is not serving you well. Yep, and there's the five. Okay, the five here I feel is, it's very, it may be, maybe you thought something was going to go a certain way and it's not, right? Um, there's growth in here though. There is karma in here. If you've been thinking, oh, why do things not ever go my way? They're about to here, okay? If you've been doing things that, um, say you've been trying to help someone with something. Um, how do I say this? Kind of like the road to hell is paved with good intentions. If you've been trying to do something for the betterment of something and you're getting crap results on it, those are about to change here. You get the aha that you're not going to invest any longer in something that's not working, right? I think this is a great card to have with this card. It's the aha of something. And it's been something that's been going on for a bit. It could be the realization about yourself, too, where you're like, you know, we get to these points and we're like, you know what? I just will not wake up another day feeling like this. I'm going to do something drastic here. It could be that. It could be a move, too. Okay. You've got the six of wands here. Again, that, again, I think is a catch-22 card. Um... It's a victory card, though, no matter what. you're. It's the, I'm going to do me now, right? Sometimes we can try to do uh, the nicest things, or we think we're really helping someone, when in fact, they're not appreciating it, and it's not benefiting us. And I think that that's what this is. You realize that. Um, again, it's the flip side of the coin here. It could be, too, where, you know what, I'm working my butt off, and I need some time off. Take some time this weekend. I think it's great. And Okay, the Three of Cups. Again, you need to have some more fun. And these are choices where, you know what, I am going to choose to make my life heaven on earth. Come what may, I'm going to do that. Okay, um, I think expecting unexpected. This may be an aha that comes out of the blue. So um, shut this down to acknowledge this. Okay, I think it's very, um, how do I say? It's a vision maybe that you had that you didn't think you could ever do, and now you realize you can do it, and you go for it, and it's very successful, okay? This isn't just about daydreams. This is about I'm going for this, period, and it's it's good, whatever it is here. It could be in reference to a relationship, or it could be in reference to a move. It could be in reference to uh, something that you want for yourself or something that you're cutting out. Either way, this is a positive, okay? So embrace this, please, okay? Hi Sagittarius, happy weekend. I hope you are doing well. Okay, let's see. It's in store for you. Oh good. Okay. The temperance card. This card I would say she's been coming up. She came up in a few of the others too. So um if I stay here. This could be a relationship where you're, I'm going to say stay in the middle lane. Yep. <laughs> here we go. This could be a start of something new here where you're not sure if it's, you know, love or lust or I would just go slow. This is a very stable person, a very caring person. So let's just see. Okay. Um, this is a page. This is expect the unexpected. You may get an invitation to go somewhere. Um, I would say embrace it. This is someone who may surprise you, like I say. Um, if something has, if there's been like a separation or something, I think you could get a pleasant surprise here or a surprise. You could get a gift. This could absolutely be a gift um, in any form. Um, Let's see. Okay. Let me see here. I'm going to stay here. You need to embrace whatever this is. If you've been cutting yourself out of something or staying uh, 
inside. It's time to pull yourself out of this. Um, I don't know. I keep feeling like there's a seven around this. So again, I think this is something very spiritual. This may be something that you've been working on with yourself. Maybe you're going to go do something or see someone or um, this is a very spiritual throw. Um, I would embrace it. I would say absolutely this could be a relationship too, like I say, that's kind of been, you need to judge it up a little bit here. Okay. Wow. All right. So this is a weekend throw. I'm throwing extra for you. You've got one, two, three, four. You've got four. You've got the sun card, which is great. So whatever this is, whatever you're watching this for, the answer is yes. Okay. The star card is you're going to have to pull yourself out of this. This The star card is hope, it's joy, it's happiness, it's destiny, but you've got to put your, you've got to put your, yourself into this, okay? So I'm going to say go for it here. Um, these are great cards, my gosh. I can't even say anything negative here. Whatever it is that you've got going on here, go forward with it. I think it's going to be wonderful, okay? You really can't go wrong with this. This could be anything from A to Z. Um, but if you get uh, a message or whatever, go for it for sure. Okay, there you go. None of these people in here are going to do you any harm. Um, but I think you're, you're meant to embrace something here. I think someone may tell you how they care about you or how they feel about you. And I think it may, you know, it may be time to get out. Uh, get out and about if that's not what you've been doing. Okay, so there you go. Hi Capricorn. I hope you are doing well. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's a lot of jumpers here. Let's see. Give me a minute. I feel a need to keep shuffling a little more. Okay, Nine of Swords. So, um, I could feel something around this too. I think you need a little bit of downtime. Six of Wands. This is very similar to one of the other readings. Um, okay. Again, I think this is a, a two-edged sword here, and I really mean that. Um, I think it's like you're weighing things out. This is a Victorious card, the Six. Okay, but it's a card of, um, you've got to get right in here. There's something, okay, now we've got the five. There's some kind of torment in here. I can't tell if someone's doing that to you or if you're doing it to yourself. Um, but you need to really pull yourself out of it. This may be to taking yourself out of the situation for a bit. Whatever it is, you've got to shut yourself down here. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. There's a balancing act that you've got to do here. With the death card and the nine of swords, this could be a health-related issue here. Um, You may need to really just say something to someone. Okay. There's a new beginning here, but you're going to have to embrace that. And it's, I guarantee you, it has to do with shutting this down and dealing with this to get this show on the road here. This is a great card, um, the Empress card. I'm going to stay here. There's, There could be something that came out of the blue, something you're having to deal with. Um, but I assure you, with the Five of Wands and this Nine of Swords, this is something that you may be doing to yourself. 
okay? Um, but you've got the Fool card and you've got the Death card, which is exactly what this is. You've got to let go of something to embrace something new here. The Empress with the Fool card, um, that could be a new relationship, but I would tread lightly here. I would really tread lightly here. Um, you've got to deal with this first, and then I would... Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Death card. Things are changing for you for sure. This, these two cards will put an end to this, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do something. This is a card of you needing to really let go of something. So, I think this is great. The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress card, the Death card, and the Fool card is things are changing for you. So whatever this is, if you've not been feeling well, I'm not a doctor, but things are going to change for you now, okay? You need to take initiative in here, though. I will say that. There's something you've got to do here and something you've got to let go of here. But this is a good reading, okay? Hi, Aquarius. Happy weekend. I hope you are doing well. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say for you. Give me a minute. I apologize. I'm not feeling it yet. Okay. Okay. Seven of Swords. That is you needing to uh, maybe let go of something. Um, two sevens. Okay. You are needing more freedom here. Two sevens definitely speak of um, you've got to let go of something here. I think this is, yep, okay. The king of coins, that is, uh, you've got to take a higher road here. Or someone that you're dealing with needs to take the higher road here. When you hit a seven, it's just telling you that you've got to go in the opposite direction of what you've been doing here. And the chariot. Okay. To get whatever this is that you're trying to get going here, right? If you're trying to secure something, um, be it whatever, the chariot card and the king are, and, and here's another seven. So you've now got three sevens. Wow. All right. To get something going here, you're going to need to make a 360 on this. Or it's a relationship or it's something that you've been doing that you're going to make, you're going to need to make a, a total 360. This is just saying that you've got to get something going. Um, how do I say this? There's karma in here for sure. You, you've got to do the opposite of whatever it is that you're doing here. This is maybe doing something. Um, you're going to have to sacrifice something in here. And with this moon coming in, um, now would be the perfect time to do it. And with that many sevens, you're going to have to sacrifice something here. You may have to uh, pay out something just to get something done, to get something. Um, mm. The only way I can say this is you're going to either hit a wall right? Like literally you're going to have to, you're not going to be able to get past here or you're going to need to, to get it together here, whatever it is to you, to get the show on the road here. Otherwise this is not going to come together. Okay. I hope that I helped you in some way, but this moon is perfect time to do this. All right. Because whatever it is, there's, there's some kind of karma you're working through here. So there's going to need to be some kind of sacrifice, I would say, okay? Either in how you're thinking about something, it could be a lack mentality that gets your show on the road here. It could be something as simple as that. But either way, you've got to go in the complete opposite direction of what you're doing here. Okay, there you go. Hi, Pisces. Happy weekend. Oop, your cards are jumping. 
all over the place. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Let's see what the cards have to say. We are absolutely in moon energy, so use this. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Strength. All right. That's a great card. You may absolutely or actually, um, you may actually have to do something. Okay. Oh, boy. Holy moly. Okay. Let's see here. I think that you're in the middle of something here. You're either reaping karma for something, seeing something for how it truly is, and the Two of Wands. I think that you are coming to terms with something here. Okay. This can be cleared out if you deal with this in this kind of way. You may need to really just say something. Um, this is keeping your, your power, but you're going to need to... How do I say? You're going to need to speak it. You know what I mean? This could, again, be... Uh, there could be lust in here. There could be love in here. There could be a relationship in here. There could be um, an aha in here. But to clear this, you're going to need to deal with this in this kind of way. Okay. Heaven on Earth, right here. But it comes through you really, I think, having to speak your truth in here. Um, I wouldn't be afraid to do that. The five in here. Um, I think this actually turns out to be a gift, in all honesty. I think this five of cups turns out to be a gift. These two are great cards. I think, though, you're going to have to say something. Someone may not know how you feel, so you're going to need to verbalize whatever it is, and it clears this block, okay? So, and there's the Nine of Wands. Okay. Give me a minute. The Nine of Wands, again, it's knowing when to do something. Maybe you need to speak up about something and you haven't been. Okay, so we've got the lover's card now. Okay, this may be in a relationship where you need to actually speak up. Something may be going on that you're not thrilled about. The ticket out of here, my dear Pisces, is to speak up. Um, I think, you know, something may... Um, may, you know, someone may have been, you may have been thinking one thing and something else may be going on. So you're going to need to, to deal with this. These are about choices that you make. I don't think they're negative, but I think you're going to need to speak up about something. I think you're maybe expecting someone to be a mind reader and they're not. Okay. Or vice versa. One of the two. But to clear this block, you're going to have to need to use this. And I think it brings this, which is great. I pray. Okay, this could go one of two ways. I can't lie to you. You may need to either be more defensive or you may need to be less defensive. But either way, um, there's growth in here for sure. Either way, your life goes in a different direction. So I think that it's it's a good thing, right? We need expansion. And I think that, that you actually may get a gift in here too. So there you go. I hope that that helped in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything.